Ugh, my belly's shaking. It was cute, but y'all know what I decided. Uh, I'm back in my husband's basement. I look a mess. Y'all know why I look a mess. Wait, first of all, there I go talking through my damn nose again. I decided to not even really worry about what I'm so focused on what I'm eating. Supposed to, you know what I mean? Just watching what I eat when I eat. And lately, y'all notice I've been eating once a day. And then I don't eat no more like after 6, 6.30. I can't say anything's really changing. I know that my legs are getting tighter. And um, my stomach's not really getting too much flatter. But my husband loves it, so forget about it. Anyway, I gotta show y'all something. Can y'all see it? It's too bad. I don't care if y'all know my name. Awesome sauce. I completed my intense outpatient today. <laughs> so for you, for those of you who don't know, I got a password. Put this. I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy because it, I had was not like missing some class. Like my kids visit would be on the day I'm supposed to go to class because the social worker changed, so I couldn't go. So I had to make that up. And then um, so it actually is supposed to be like five weeks. And it's probably like seven weeks for me, but I got it done today. So I did um, residential was 30 days, which is where I live in a house day in, day out. It's just me getting myself together with uh, learning how to work my program, learning the steps, talking to other women, relating to other women. <clears throat> and then um, after that, you do intense um, ILP, which is outpatient therapy. And um, usually some people could just do that. But I would have been lying to myself. Like, I needed residential treatment. I need to sit in there every day from morning to night. And we had to be up at 7.45 downstairs. And we couldn't go back upstairs to, like, probably 4.30. Um, so I was there with probably maybe 12 women. Me and 12 other women. And the, um, the facilitators who helped us. And most of the facilitators who helped us. While I'm talking to y'all, you know what, guys? I'm going to do my lashes. I just went and got these today. And I got my nails done. Stop it. 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 I'm so excited. <laughs> I look fat. I'll be looking at myself because it's kind of different looking at yourself on here. So, hi guys. I missed you. I look a mess. I'm so tired. Um, I've been so sick. <clears throat> like, I was eating so many vegetables and then I went to eating. I ate some pizza like three days ago. I swear to God. And my body was like, eh, eh, no. I told my husband, we're getting old. We cannot sit back and eat that kind of stuff. Like, I'm 39 years old and um, he's 43. He just turned 43. On, um, sorry, y'all. Oh, look at that back there because this is the basement. Um, yeah, just give me a second to work I miss my mama. My mama funky, but with my brother to Houston. And she's seen, I don't know if y'all know Bianca and Damon. Um, she saw them when she got down there. They took a picture with her. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna do these lashes. I just open them up like this. I just tear them off. And I'm hoping they're cute. They don't look really long and they don't look really like HD, like it says. But um yeah, so I did the aftercare. I mean, no, I did the um, intense um, outpatient. Like I said, it was a five-week class from Tuesday to Friday. From I had to be out the door by 7.45 every morning, and I had to go way to the east side. I live in the suburbs in Lakewood on the west side. So I had to take two buses there. And it's cold here, but shh, I got to do what I had to do what I had to do. And it made me feel good to complete it. Like, it really felt awesome to complete it. Like, I really wanted to do it. And nobody made me do treatment. I did treatment on my own. So to get up and walk out the house every day knowing nobody's forcing me to do that, I'm doing that because I have a problem. And I want to be sober and live in sobriety. So now we have, um, now I have to do, oh God, I don't know, but I'm not going to like these. I'm going to probably snatch them right off because I don't think I like them already. Ugh, I hate it. Can y'all see? So, I mean, who am I to say I'm not going to do uh, aftercare? Aftercare is um, where I'll go. Nope, I don't like them. Aftercare is where I'll go once a week on Tuesday from 2 to 4. And just, you know, still do. 
I don't like them. They're not, they're not crazy enough like I like. I'm probably going to wind up changing them. Like, I'm not even going to put the other one away. Because I don't like them looking short like this. And they're freaking $5. I wanted to kind of give that sparky, like that, like the like spider <laughs> illusion. Um, I'm not going to wear these. And, and tomorrow I'll have um, started my connection um, classes with my church tomorrow. So I know I'm already tired and I don't feel too good. So if I do my hair and lashes tonight and shower tonight, I could pretty much just get up and brush my teeth or wash my face and moisturize my face and go about my business. I don't like this. But anyway, so who am I not to say I'm going to do aftercare? Like I said, it's um, once a week for 12 weeks. I mean, that's still good me good. It still has me rooted, rooted in rooted in going to see people like me. And be around people still like me. Touch bases on where my journey started with recovery. I think they did it wrong, y'all. Help me out. These are so ugly. What do y'all think? Look at my husband. Nosy butt. Um, so, yeah, I probably will do it. I'm telling myself right now I'm not going to do it because I just got done with that. <laughs> and like I said, I don't feel too good. But it is from 2 o'clock, so I have more time to just stay home. But I'm an early bird, so I like getting things done early anyway. So I'll sit around here and wish it was earlier than 2 o'clock. Because 2 o'clock is when I'm winding down and cooking and chilling out. Probably get ready to go to the gym or something. Oh, my God. I don't like these lashes. I'm so mad. These are about to go into, like, a junk box. These are going to be the times I just... Anyway... Babe, what do you want, man? Yeah, you can still come in here. I do have a husband. You want to get a bathroom? Huh? What's wrong? My baby leg hurt, y'all. He blew his leg off playing football a while back. So his leg be hurting us sometimes. And he act like a big baby, too. He be milking it. It's my baby, though. I don't like these lashes too much. They're cute, though. They're just... Not what I wanted for the hair I'm about to do. Baby, I got my flat irons on there because I was about to show them that I bought flat irons. Let me take them out. What you about to use the bathroom? Yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah, I did buy some flat irons today. Um, I got these. Some little cheap stuff. Yeah. I'm tired of buying wigs. And I'm really trying to grow my hair back. I bought some... Um, Jamaican castor oil and I bought some sulfur eight. Oh, remember sulfur eight from back in the day? I put some in my hair and put a plastic bag over my head with the castor oil. Yeah, it reminded me of when I was a kid, but we didn't really have it in our hair. My auntie Buki used to have it in her hair. She always smelled like sulfur eight. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, I guess I didn't get to do that, but it was okay. Now big faux hair. Look, I got a faux hair. I got a five hair. Let me see. Anyway, um, let me see. I look stink. Look at this fat right here, y'all. Don't y'all hate that, but I got eight babies, so I guess it's okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so aftercare. I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to do it because I like to feel a part of it. I like to be in recovery. Sobriety means doing the work and getting up to what you're supposed to do, especially when you want to do it. It's like getting out of you. So that's why I always say in sobriety because it's more than just putting down a drink. It's about um, doing the work. So I know I'm going to do it. So And it's nothing. It's just something extra for me. And then I'm going to move on from there and to continue my journey. I'm staying clean and sober forever. So um, let's see. Other than that, I forgot what I was going to say because I just saw my husband in pain. And that makes me feel kind of. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> How to go up the stairs. My house real junky. Don't look. <sighs> it ain't no good to be fat. Okay, perfect. So anyway, <laughs> so I am going to do the aftercare. I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to do it because it's just me. I'll be talking like, I'm not going to do it. That's why it's I'm just giving myself a little break mentally. But I'm going to do the aftercare, which is really great. And then I'm going to do the therapist. And then we're going to do family counseling because it's not about me just putting down the alcohol. It really is a family disease. So, of course, when I was drinking, I did a lot of things that I don't do now. I said a lot of things I don't say now. So my husband is doing a really good job with not throwing things up in my face. He's not um, making me, you know, feel guilty. I'm the one that's feeling guilty, but I talked to my sponsor and 
She said, I have to forgive myself. I was the best mother I can be with what I was doing. And yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to I'm not going to film this. I mean, I'm not going to um, upload this. But um, yes, yeah, so. Um, he, but there's still things that I'm sure that he wants to get out of his, his chest. And, and me and him together sitting here trying to do it. I'd probably be okay because we have touched base on things, but it's always better to work with somebody professional because he says something and I say something and I, he don't quite understand me or I don't quite understand him. It's always good to have somebody, a profession to do it. And when the kids come home, we're going to continue to do it. I've already picked out a place and have a referral for it. So, yay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the aftercare. I just don't feel too good today. I feel really crappy. And when I feel crappy, my house is a mess and I hate it. So they always said, if your house is a mess or your car is a mess, your life's a mess. <laughs> my life ain't a mess no more. It's getting clean. But um, I really want to do it. So I'm probably just going to sit down and do like the tables like my grandma Ruby. She'll sit at her table and just clean it off. <laughs> I used to do that when I was pregnant. So it worked. I don't like these lashes, but I have... <sighs> I got some more guys. These right here are some other ones that I got. They're $4.99. They're kind of cheap, but they're still good. These are more up where I want to be. So I probably will change them because these is cute, but it's not what I thought. And it's so I could have got the ones two for five and they were bigger with the sprout that I liked it. But as soon as you go to sleep or something like this, it'd be bending. These don't really bend too much. But um was I sent by my mama? I miss my mama, but she didn't even call me while she was gone. That's okay, because I ain't going to call her neither. Mama Kathy's my mama, y'all. She got her tape pulled out. Um. So, yeah, my brother and them are in Houston right now. They're filing touchdown. They're there. They look really cute. They got all the babies with them in the back. And my mom was taping live, and I saw a haul off of bread. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, that's right. <laughs> And my dad's driving. He's always got such a peace about himself. I'm in love with that man. Oh, my God. God is so good to give me such a daddy like that. I love my daddy. But, um, yeah, so for the most part, I just feel really crappy and really poopy. I know I ain't pregnant because I got this thing in my arm. So that's not it. I just really wanted to come over here and do my um, show y'all my flat irons that I bought and my lashes that I got. But my husband took over his bathroom. I can't wait till they fix my bathroom. I have a toilet sitting in my daughter's room on this blue thing. So he's doing the house next door. And he's every day working, pounding, beating stuff. And I'm like, it won't take nothing to get my toilet back. But he has came within a week twice to do the flooring. So next thing I'll be putting my, my, my sink back with my stuff. And then I got to get my toilet back in there. And I'm going to get one of those shelves to go over the toilet like an old school so I can put my stuff up there really pretty. So I need someone to do my makeup because now that I'm not drunk and losing stuff everywhere I go, I'm collecting a lot of makeup stuff and a lot of hair stuff. I'm going to try to get my young hair to grow. Like I said, I'm tired of wigs. I'm tired of all that. I'll probably start trying to wear some braids because I never really cared for my own hair. I would just slap a wig on and go about my business. But, um, yeah, I don't want to do that now. And I'll probably show you guys my hair because I just got done, like, gelling it back down and blow drying it. I didn't do no edges or nothing. It's really pretty. My hair is actually really wavy and pretty. But, um... My contacts irritate me. And I still forgot my solution. Because somebody remind me to get my solution when I go out tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to go to my church. I got to, um. <laughs> I got to do um, my class tomorrow. I'm not sure how long it is. It was supposed to be Thursdays. But then I have connect classes on Wednesday. Which I took up on my own. It's time to help me with the 12 steps. And that's 12 steps of, um. You know, getting clean and sober and living in sobriety. So I'm a, I'm working my I'm on my fourth step, and that's about um making names of people who I resent, and then what they did, what part did I play, and how it made me feel. And that's supposed to be the part that's supposed to really get the trash out of you that we hold on to to keep us sick. They say we're sick as our secrets, so I have a lot of stuff that I have to get out. And they say it's probably better to do it with the priest than somebody that you meet, like a sponsor, who can get mad at you later. Which, they, they, I don't know if they do that or not. I'm sure some people had experience with it, or less I wouldn't know about it. Then I can bring it up later to somebody else in a meeting. Because there are some things that you've done, you know, sexually or something like that before. You really don't want people to know. They can guess, but you got to get that out, details. So, yeah, I'll probably do mine with the priest or something. And then go over the ones I want her to, like, you know, help me. Well, just know 
but it's only one so I'm gonna do that with the crease but this video is 15 minutes and I'm just rambling because my video fell once again because of my baby want to go in the basement he see me go down there bored y'all see I get bored easily so until I'm not gonna do my um god I hate my belly I'm talking about I'm not gonna do aftercare. I'm gonna be out the door before it even be time just to be out or just to be there. But yeah, I graduated today, so that's my second certificate that I had. So that's great. Then I guess I'll get an aftercare one, which is great. And then I go to court February 13th. And even though I'm not doing it because they told me to, I'm doing it for me. It's good to have paperwork to let them know what you're doing. Because they use it for you, they try to use everything against you, and they try to use things to help you. I guess my social worker acts like she's pretty cool. I asked her at my daughter's birthday party, are you guys still trying to file for permanent custody? The only reason they're trying to do permanent custody is because we had a history of domestic violence before, like three or four years ago. But the way that you see us working so hard to get our kids, like my, my husband did parenting, he did domestic violence class. He has went through therapy. He's um, dropping negative urines. He's never missed a visit. He's doing everything he needs to do. And then you see our, our kids react to us on our visits. And you see how they are and how much love is in our family. Why are you still asking for permanent custody? That doesn't make sense to me. So she said, um, when we were at the kids' birthday party, she said that we're still asking for permanent as of now. But shit, what's, what's as of now? February's around the corner. But she said they're still asking as of now. And she said maybe temporary. And I never heard her say that before. So I guess, you know, you got to take what you can get and be positive with it around with it. So we'll know more. I'm just ready for my kids to come home. Do I have healthy fears? Yeah, I'm scared. Like, I want to make sure I'm on top of everything with my kids. Like, where they are now, they're, they're in school and things are going really, really well. And because I was drinking before, there was a lot of things I couldn't do that I wanted to do. Or I, I really just couldn't give it my all. You know what I mean? So I want to make sure my kids stay in school, stay focused. Um, that I take them to extra things. I want Ellie Pites. And, I mean, I want Emily to get into bell ballet. Ellie Pye needs to take boxing because she's crazy. And Ethan just loves everything. So whatever he decides to do, we're going to do it. And I know I can do it. It's just, you know, a fear of just making sure I'm on top of things. And they never get taken out this house again. Because I love my babies. And I really want my babies home. You know, I can't wait. It's coming. Today is the 10th. Tomorrow the 11th. So we're going to count down together, y'all. Every day put some in my comments for me to say, girl, you got it. Something. Because y'all be giving me some kind of strength and motivation. I really, really love it. Um, Other than that, this is going on for 17 minutes. Don't nobody want to hear me chat, chat, chat. But anyway, yeah. So I'm going to look over some paperwork. Um, get myself together. I'm going to start in the kitchen. Once you start in the kitchen, you want to do everything else. I'm going to clean up my house a little bit. That makes me feel good all the time. I light some candles and then read a little bit. Probably listen to a meeting over the phone, which is pretty good to do when you can't make it out to a meeting. Um, yeah, but I should make it through a meeting. It don't matter because when I was sick and I wanted my alcohol, I still got my ass up and went to go get that. So I need to go take my ass to a meeting. Only thing with that is when I get to the meetings out here, door lock. I like to go to means I know that's there. <laughs> but, like, since I don't have anything pretty much to do in the mornings, I'm going to make sure I get to a meeting in the morning, probably two. And my cousin's going to meetings now, so we hooked up the other day and went to one. It was very nice. But this video is going on um, <laughs> 19 minutes of me just rambling. I'm just really excited about that I finished my aftercare. I mean, my a little, 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 that I finished my ILP. I'm really happy about that because, like I said, it was going on too long. Um, the people were changing, the class was changing, and I was still there. I think secretly I kind of didn't want to go, so if I missed a day, I could make it up. But they made other people start over. I guess they didn't make me start over because once I got out of my reading, I didn't mind sharing, I didn't mind giving advice, you know, and I'm pretty a pretty much cool person, you know, but update on my job i didn't go to the gym today so i and last time i spoke to the lady about the job she was so busy in a little daycare that's at the gym she was just like and then her husband was sick so i'm gonna um be all over her because i'm gonna need a job all right y'all so continue to pray for me y'all continue to pray for y'all um pray for my mom and dad and my brother on his family that's out on the road right now or just leave somewhere different that they've never been that this is not like all a host or something and that they're safe because you know people are shady out here anyway short story i was on the rapid today coming home and i heard a whole bunch of noise and i'm looking because i'm really 
anxious. I'm like, what the hell is that? This girl, big fat too, run serious real fast. I think he had snatched this little white girl phone. I think something was wrong with her. She had a mask on her face. And he snatched her phone, his big ass, and fell, dropped the phone, ran across the street, laughed like it's funny. And the girl just fell on her knees and she was so sad. And my husband's going to go over to her and say, is she okay? But the way the world is nowadays, you can't even go over to somebody at times like that and make sure they're okay. Because she'll get up and say that he's the one who did it. Uh, you know, your mind be so confused and so, um, you'd be so nervous and so in shock that you'll be looking at my husband being in jail for something he didn't do. And then it really hurt me that it was like 20 people just walking past this girl. And I wanted to get up and go say something to her, but my soul didn't let me because I think that, um, in that place, that rapid station, somebody was up there robbing somebody and all it takes for them to see you when you're on the ground and stuff like that. So that is something I had to let pass. Of course, I prayed for her and I still am. And I'm telling you all about it because it bothered me, but I actually cried on the bus a little bit and my husband just kept saying, it's okay. It's just sad the way the world is. People do some ignorant, sad, crazy things and it just don't make sense. God did not intend for this world to be this way. He did not die on that cross and shed all that blood for us to go around doing things that we do things i used to do but anyway um i'm gonna try to clean up i'm gonna do a cleaning video with you guys and maybe tomorrow i'll do my little um flat iron video <laughs> i was gonna flat iron this hair and kind of cut this out some more pull my edges out but through here and it'll make it look different because this is old but i can always bring my hair back to life but anyway guys i'm gonna see y'all later because i'm gonna go check on this man all right, I love you guys so much. I just wanted to say what's up. All right, bye. If you tried everything, <laughs>